Next, let's go ahead and create this rectangular pattern practice pad, uh, practice part. <clears throat> we'll switch to our practice project to do that. Remember, to go to your project manager and double click the uh, project you want to switch to, and then you can select done. That's one way to do it. Alternatively, you can also do a new part file and select the project in the pull down menu down here in the project file. You see there all the projects. Okay, so we're going to do new IPT. This one's a pretty straightforward uh, practice pattern. It just wants us to practice using a rectangular pattern, which is different from a circular pattern in that there's more parameters. Because in a circular pattern, all you really need to tell is what geometry and where's the rotation axis and how many copies of it do you want. Here, you have a little bit more information to provide. So let's start by creating a sketch. And we can pick any of the sketch planes like usual. I'll select this one. We're going to make a 6 inch wide by 4 inch long rectangle. Okay, so here's our rectangle. We can go four on the bottom, tab, and press six, sorry, four, excuse me, and then we can select six on the other one. Okay, and no, the dimensions kind of came in wrong in the second there. I actually put it in the wrong spot, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and just do it again so you can see that one more time. So here's our rectangle, right? And we can dimension it later. Oops, all right, we can dimension it later. I'm going to show you also. We can put put in the dimensions right now if we wanted to. So it's supposed to be six inches long. And then we can hit tab and then go to the other box and type four inches there. So there's our six by four rectangle. Okay, so that's all set. We'll finish the sketch. And there's our rectangle. And we're going to extrude this to a depth of one half inch. So extrude, nice and easy. We all know how to do that point by now. 0.5 inch. And there's our, um, our plate. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate this. And so that way it's consistent with the, uh, consistent with the, the uh, packet. And we're going to set that as the home view. Okay? And that's that. All right, now what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a circle on here. And we're going to draw that circle and position it in the right spot. We're going to create a sketch on the surface of the, of the rectangle. And then we're going to place that circle in the bottom left corner. So that's going to be a circle. Whoops. A circle. And we'll put it right here for now. That's fine. We've got our dimension tool. We're going to dimension both the location and the diameter of the circle. Using the center point to the side, it's going to be a half inch. And then using the center point to the side, it's also going to be a half inch. And we don't have to put, I'm sorry, whoops, I put it on the wrong side. Silly Mr. Copperthite. 0.5, there we go. Now I know you're looking at it and go, wait a minute, what about the diameter? Well, <clears throat> put that in there, that's going to be 0.3. All right, so there we go. There's our circle positioned in the right spot. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to finish the sketch and we're going to extrude it. We're going to, we, there's, it does not give us a specific dimension to extrude this particular circle. I'm going to go ahead and just put a half inch on it though just to sort of give it a little, little length to it. You can go smaller, you can go a tenth or a quarter an inch. That's okay. It doesn't really, there's no particular um, uh, dimension, dimension that you have to work with on here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do a rectangular pattern. This is a rectangular pattern of a solid property just like we kind of did with the circular pattern in the previous uh, circular pattern practice problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the feature that we're looking to do a circular pattern for. So we're going to pick this circle here, okay? And we're going to have to tell it two directions, all right? The first of them is going to be direction one. We're going to select a vertical edge to indicate the direction. We're also going to switch the direction, okay? So kind of like you know using the side as a as a directional axis so we're going to put in this case four holes upward in this case well four solid objects I should say really upward and spaced an inch apart so the pattern tool works like this you select a direct you basically select a geometry you select a direction and then you select how many and how far apart they are you also have options of doing distances and curve, curve lengths. So if you wanted to do a rectangular pattern along a curved surface, technically it's not rectangular, but hey, that's okay. You can certainly do that. But this time we don't have to play with any of that. We just have to use spacing. Now we're also going to repeat this pattern horizontally. So we're going to go to direction two and we're going to select a horizontal line. And then we're going to do six of these. I understand that this screenshot is backwards from what it says in your packet on page 14, but it accomplishes the same thing. Since 4 by 6 is the same as 6 by 4, so it's all good. Okay, so we hit OK, and there we go. We've got ourselves a little bit of a, like a pegboard kind of thing, cool, right? So the only other thing we have left to do here is we're going to use all the exterior edges, and we're going to apply a 1 32nd of an inch chamfer. So 
you're looking at go one thirty second of an inch. Oh, it means I got to get my calculator out and convert it to a decimal, right? Well, remember you could just type in the fraction, right? You could type in one over thirty two on here, and then watch what happens when I click an edge. It actually will use that fractional edge, right? And then later, if we were to go in and dimension it, it would um, it would actually convert it to a decimal for you. So what you have to do is just basically click all of the edges on the front and the back, make chamfers, chamfers, excuse me, on all the edges, and let me make sure I got the bottom one just fine. That's good. Hit OK, and there you go. So you know it's not necessarily you know visible right away. You kind of have to look at it like this. But if you zoom in, you can see there's chamfers on all edges on here. Okay. And that's that. That's all. That's the circular, that's sorry, that's the rectangular pattern. And we're going to save this in our practice project. We're going to call it base plate. Um, sorry, not base plate, rectangular pattern. Looking at the next one. Dot IPT. Okay? And that's in our practice packet. Alright, so that's that. And we'll have a we'll go to the next pattern in just a second.